before and during the construction of the 969.4 meters long RBC dual carriage flyover located at the garrison bus stop. Commuting to Transamadi industrial layout and water lines was a nightmare due to chaotic traffic jams. But two weeks down the line, after the flyover was inaugurated, there is a huge relief for drivers and other road users. The bridge has really benefited not only people around here, the entire people of River State. Because if you can observe before this bridge, there used to be very serious traffic jam around this area, which you might come around here and find it difficult to have a free movement of vehicle. I love it. It's very beautiful. It makes my state fine. It's very, very good. We can have done an, enough job. The problem we have is uh, we, the drivers, who don't respect the road. If not, nothing like this anywhere. Apart from the free flow of traffic enjoyed by motorists plying this bridge, business operators around the garrison full market say they have been experiencing high patronage since the commissioning of the bridge. Business is okay now. You can't compare that time and that time. It's impossible. So, but now everything is moving normal. So now that they open it now, at least some of our customers don't they come back to patronize us. We are now where the place, we organize the place and they get a lot of customers now. Amid the chairs and applause, traders and drivers are asking for more. For example, they want the River State government to construct a bus stop at both sides of the flyover to make picking and dropping of passengers much easier. The issue that we have here is that we don't have parking space, we have car can park. Uh, that's the only thing we are fighting how to do it. The issue is just that no bus stop here. So if they can make a way for us here, so that we can be clamping up, like as I'm here and I'm on the road, which I know very well. But if they can make way so that when we come here, we'll clamp up here and drop us and go away. But another thing is that Wike is not doing well for the trader. We don't have work. We are managed ourselves here. And he said that after the bridge, 100 meters out of the road, which is very far. So please. I beg our governor to consider the trader. I to beg and make it allow us to stay by the side like this, they say. The RBC flyover, unveiled by the Minister of Works and Housing, Baba Tundi Fashola, on the 7th of November 2020, is the first of five flyovers currently being constructed by Governor Yesom Wiki in Port Harcourt. However, this is happening in spite of criticism from people who feel that the governor is paying too much attention to Port Harcourt and Obi Akboluku government areas at the expense of other areas. From Port Harcourt, Monica Ogwa, reporting for Silverbed News 24.